Hi, I'm Angie here for Sing.TV. Welcome to singing tip number two, which I call the straw, the snake, and the bee. So we start off, as in the last tip, which was called the straw, with the same kind of inhale, slowly inhaling through the straw, holding the breath for a few seconds, except this time, instead of exhaling through the straw, we're actually going to exhale on an S sound, like a snake. And your goal here is to keep your S sound as steady as possible, as if you're imagining your breath moving out like a laser beam towards the end of the room. And again, like I said in the last tip, you do not want your exhale to be forced. You just want it to be slightly supported. You have a feeling of expansion in the diaphragm, in the rib cage, and you want to keep this as long as possible. Of course, at the end of your exhale, you'll start to feel your belly button moving in and everything kind of moving in towards your back. So this is what it would look like in the beginning. We have the straw inhale. And you keep going until you have no more breath left to exhale. So again, remember not to get all tensed up, except at the end you're slowly feeling your, your abdominals move in, kind of like an accordion which you've expanded, and it's just slowly coming in. Try to keep your rib cage open throughout the full S. Now it's time to add in a new element into our straw and snake. We're going to add in the B, which will be a Z sound. And the difference between the S and the Z is that the S is simply percussive, whereas the Z is a voiced consonant, meaning that the sound is accompanied by a pitch. See how there's a note in there. So I'm going to try this out with the straw, the S, which then becomes Z. So my pitch um, is going to be a certain note. Of course, it'll be important for you to find what note is comfortable. When you're starting out, you always want to go in your mid-range, mid to lower range. So, this is what it would look like. And you keep doing the same sound until you have no breath left. So, remember, that while you're going from the S to the Z sound, you don't want to hear a stop. You don't want to hear You don't want to have that. That would mean that you're putting tension in your throat and you're not allowing the breath to be released in order to make this sound. So it should feel very easy. It should just feel like your Z is appearing onto the S sound. So try this a few times and you can try it on different notes. So if you're starting out a bit lower, Try moving up and see if you can still do the same sound without tensing up. And this will practice your breath management as well as beginning to make sounds. So, have fun with it and see you next time.